All right, you're thinking about breakfast right about now, or maybe you're chomping on some of that cereal. Here's something you should think about. A diet that's been around since the 20s has started to resurface due to recent findings that it may actually help fight cancer. So that's why we have this lady here, dietitian Allie Miller of Naturally Nourished. She's here to tell us more about this diet, and it's called the ketogenic. The ketogenic diet, yes. Okay. So what exactly is that? So it relies on ketone bodies, which are made by our fat cells, as an alternative use of fuel when we're very depleted in glucose, or sugars in the body. So by restricting carbohydrates, the body actually has to metabolize its fat stores for energy. Okay, so you brought in some samples here. What do we have yes. up on this side? So when you're doing the ketogenic diet, you have to have a really high amount of fat. And what happens is those ketone bodies can actually block receptors in the brain that can cause tu um, tumors as well as seizures. So it can actually help to block seizure activity. And then we can essentially starve off cancer. So you want to have about 40 to 70% of your calories coming from fat. Mm -hmm. And these medium chain triglycerides in our coconut oil are very highly available. So those are a big key to the ketogenic diet. Okay. You also <laughs> have you some will. raspberries here. Yeah. So, so, you know, we look at carbohydrates. It's restricted to 30 grams a day. Each of these visuals is 15 grams each. So you'd have to choose between between two of these options, so literally four crackers would be 15 grams. Two options a day would be your max amount of carbohydrates. And when you're talking about dieting, is there a certain, uh, you know, should you do this for a week, two weeks? Is this oh. something like a lifestyle change? Well, much? it's a lifestyle change. It depends on the, on the condition you're looking to treat. Some people use ketosis for rapid weight loss because it helps to metabolize the fat. Uh -huh. You know, that would be appropriate for about a three month period. But when you're using it for ketogenic to treat seizures, that would be a lifestyle. As well wow. as for cancer, that would be a treatment protocol. So it could be for up to a year or more. Okay, so we talked about the berries. Let's yes. move on here. So also half a sweet potato, two carb choices. Protein is a huge component. We want to feed that skeletal muscle mass. Mm -hmm. uh, looking for a good protein that has low carbs. So nothing like like sausages that has binders and fillers, clean, lean proteins, steak would be appropriate, fish, chicken, um, and then whey protein is also very bioavailable, and this whey protein has immunoglobulins to boost the immune system. Just a question about this protein powder. Yes. You know, because I've been to GNC too, there's a number of powders yes. that they have to offer. Which one should you go so with? So I really like something that's non-denatured. Non-denatured means that it's not exposed to high heat, so that all of the proteins are intact and you get a good amount of nutrients. Also, when it's non-denatured and grass-fed, we're getting a lot of CLAs, which boost our metabolism and help to maintain that lean mass. So you don't lose anything. Yes, you want to avoid line. anything with the word isolate. So like soy isolate or whey protein isolate, that's very highly processed. So that's okay. a great question. You have to jot that down. Yeah, so yeah, non-denatured grass-fed. <laughs> okay, all right, so moving along, we got the veggies, then, we got the yeah, greens. Yeah, free veggies, you know, so these are low calorie, high antioxidant, high fiber, keep things moving. Mm -hmm. Since you're a little lower in the fruits, you want to definitely emphasize these. Um, and then I just threw together a really simple idea of a snack. It's a salmon roll-up. So we're using cure smoked salmon. Uh, no nitrates though, just cold smoked. Okay. And then we're just putting some cream cheese in there and rolling that up and that'd be a great ketogenic snack. All right, Allie, we got to let you go. We're out of time, but anything <laughs> else you want to mention? You know, I just think it's something that's sustainable and as we look at carbohydrates and fats, we're seeing that fats can be healthy. Just choose clean, simple sources. Okay, and this is a lifestyle change, but it doesn't have to be. You can take it in increments. Absolutely. All right, thanks, Allie, for coming in. We really appreciate it. Sure.